In the next few videos, we're gonna do some machine learning with scikit-learn. Scikit-learn comes pre-packaged with a few data sets. These are already cleaned and pre-processed, which makes it easier and quicker to practice machine learning before transitioning to raw data sets that you have to pre-process and clean yourself, which can take a lot of time in some cases and it's not very enjoyable. Now, this is not a beginner's series, so I'm making the following assumptions. That you know Python, that you are good with math and statistics, and I'm gonna put some emphasis on linear algebra and probabilistic statistics. Now, does this mean you cannot work with scikit-learn unless you know it? you know math and statistics well no but if you know them and if you're good with math and stats it makes it much easier and another assumption that i'm going to make is that you have some basic knowledge of machine learning so how it all works um, how the entire process works from the beginning to the end so in the following videos we're going to work on the breast cancer wisconsin data set and we're gonna more specifically we're gonna train a few algorithms from scikit-learn on it and we're gonna see how each one of them performs in terms of accuracy now what i'm using is python 3.5 with jupyter notebooks as you can see here uh, but we're gonna talk more about prerequisites and also about the specific data set in the following videos so I guess that's it for this introductory video. On your way out, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.